Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another magical subscription unboxing. Today we are going to be unboxing another wizarding trunk and just to let you guys know that this video is actually sponsored by the wizarding trunk so if you're watching it and you're like you know what I wouldn't mind treating myself to one of those wizarding trunks then I've got you covered with a discount code which is magical family. If you use this this will get you 10% off your first subscription with the wizarding trunk and can be used on their store. So let's get on with the unboxing. Boxing. I know it's why you're all here and hey if you are brand new here firstly hello welcome don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you would like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's go because potions in case you haven't guessed by my gigantic potion collection it's one of my favorite themes I must say so <sighs> let's go let's take a look at this wizarding trunk i believe this may have been the december 2023 box this is their owlery crate which is their bi-monthly crate and if we take a little look at the box this month oh this is gonna be very exciting all these beautiful different potion designs they don't stop you keep twirling the box and more potions keep appearing so i'm hoping that there's going to be some pretty good potions inside this alloy crate so without further ado let's open it i'll give you a cheeky sneak peek oh, 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 oh. Okay, there's not much to cheeky sneak peek. This is intriguing me. So let's start with that item first. So here we have an intriguing window, which looks like it's under the sea. There's so many options that it could be. This box, by the way, is really chunky. Let's open it. I mean, these are one of my favorite things. So I actually have a bit of a collection going on over there and they are memory vials so on here it says final memories it's a lovely intricate label as you would expect on a memory vial and they even have that kind of luster effect inside too i love these they've definitely become popular over the years and this is going to look absolutely wonderful with the rest of my memories that i have been collecting so yes what a beautiful start to this box what do you guys think leave a comment down below but let's move on to the next item next up we have got a wearable here it is so it's like a charcoal gray color so this here is the chest emblem and it says the potion masters brewing company established 1978 quite a nice design you do have the cauldron behind it so that's pretty cool and on the back we have a larger design it says the potion masters brewing company again we've got three bubbling brewing burning cauldrons and it says bewitching minds and ensnaring senses since 78 1978 but yes overall it's quite a nice subtle t-shirt this is one that i probably will get quite a lot of use out of i love wearing these as lounging around the house slash pajama t-shirt tops so that's what i personally use them for but quite a nice design on this month let's take a look at the pin we've got two normal black clasps let's turn it over and see the design oh okay this is a beautiful and quite a sizable hard enamel pin it's a potion bottle that says fame which i'm guessing is a nod to bottling fame and all that kind of thing in potions class and yeah it's really nice i do like it i love potion bottles so i have nothing to complain about and as i said it's a really nice size hard enamel gotta say it is my preference okay <laughs> who is he <laughs> look at him oh i think this is one of those diys so this is a brew it yourself potion kit swelling serum but let's turn it around it says only the purest of potions picture of what it's going to be inside i'm guessing on the back it has a little bit more information please follow the provided instructions whilst completing this brew it yourself potion kit ingredients included a glass bottle two labels pickled boom slang liquid puffer fish eyes metal stirring rod not included moon water okay then let's open this one up i can't with that little toad 
Now don't worry, I did hear you guys last time. You wanted me to make it and show the DIY segment. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. But first, let's do the unboxing of the kit. So first things first, we do have some stickers for our glass bottle, which I will get onto in just a moment. We also have a wax stick which does have a wick down it. I'm assuming this is to make your wax seal on the top of the bottle. We do also have a very own cork and I'm guessing this may be a stirring rod. Ooh, I mean that's quite nice. So this is our bottle. I love the shape of this. Very nice indeed. Let's see what else there is. I'm waiting to see puffer fish eyes. We have Okay, these must be the puffer fish eyes. As you can see, we've got some luster in there. We've got some eyes. <laughs> and in here, we've got something else, which I'm not sure what this is. I haven't a clue what this is. It's some sort of orange liquid. Ah, that is the pickled boom slang liquid. Okay, we do seem to have everything we need. First things first, I am going to take my pickled boom slang liquid and we are going to pour it into our glass bottle like so. Ooh. Next up, we have got our puffer fish eyes. So let's put those in next. Ooh, <laughs> the little eyes were bouncing around. And let me go fetch some moon water. Definitely not from my muggle tap on my sink. And we're back. We have got our water in there. We've got our puffer fish eyes floating around. I'm then going to get our little stirrer and give it a good old stir. Going to pop on our cork, make sure that it's really nice and firm in place, like so. I'm going to take our swelling serum sticker and I am just going to place that on our bottle. Just smooth it down. Could probably get away with putting a little bit more water in, but quite like the idea of some of it being used. We also have this. I'm not sure where this part of the sticker is meant to go. It could like wrap around like so. Maybe it could go over the top. I think for me, I'm going to put it around the neck of the bottle. Okay, we have our potion. Last but not least, we have our wax melting stick. I am going to just trim this wick a little bit because I don't think it's actually necessary for it to be that long. I am just going to go ahead and light my wax like so. Probably should have put something um, down, but here we go. Now, I think to use these, we just wait for it to kind of drip. I can see a drip happening. There we go, there's a little drip. Feel like we might be here a while. Now, I would recommend being more patient than me and making sure you go through the entire wax stick. You can then get a wax stamp and just, oh, okay, so this is my own personalized wax stamp. Has a CW on it, but obviously you'd want it to kind of seal the bottle. But overall, a really fun project to do. I am enjoying these. I do think that it gives that little bit of extra magic knowing that you have brewed a potion yourself. So I would love to see some more of these in future boxes. This one was very fun indeed. Let's move on to the next item. Next up, we have got a mystery brown box. Okay, Ooh. Oh, what is this? What? <gasps> oh, okay, okay. Oh my God, that's adorable. Is that not the cutest set of scales? Oh, I love that. I really do like that. That's really cool and original. I've not seen a scale like it. I love the detail. Can you see the cauldron and the flames at the bottom, which is really cool. That's a cool little display piece for a potion shelf for sure. I like it. Okay. How fun. Ooh. Okay. What is this? What? It's, I'm very confused. Is this a book, a notebook, or is it a storage box? Oh. <gasps> 
get out of town I just thought it was a storage box it's not it's got other things inside let's talk about the box first so this says the potion master's guidebook we've got potions on here we've got cauldron I mean this is just lovely love the foiling love the color love the spine of this hello very nice and on the back oh my god they've actually got writing on there it says immerse yourself in the world of potion making with the potion master's guidebook Within these pages, you'll uncover the Potion Master's complete guide to advanced potion making, including a comprehensive collection of rewritten, refined and improved potion recipes, making it an essential companion for both novice and experienced potioneers alike. Whether you're brewing for personal empowerment or seeking to impress at your next wizarding gathering, this book will be your trusted source for mastering your craft and unlocking the true potential within your cauldron. Love the design of that, very cute. Oh my god, the edge as well to look like a real like sprayed edged book is absolutely adorable the detail on this thrills me I just think how beautiful is that like that will look so gorgeous over there on a potion shelf now as I said this is not just a storage box oh no all kind of like a secret hidden book that you put on your shelf when we open it inside <gasps> oh that's cute. Let's talk about that in a moment. But there is a notebook in here too. We have got what looks to be lace wing flies, mandrakes, philosopher's stone, a beetles, a skull, a bubbling magical cauldron down there. We've got some weighing scales. I mean, they're really lovely. It's, a, it's just a, oh my God, they're double-sided pages. I've not seen that. I was expecting it to be blank on the back, but no, they are double sided so that you can get more use out of your notebook. So that's really cool. I do love notes. I love making lists. So that pleases my magical stationary heart. Now, also, we did see something else inside of here, which to me looks something a little patronusy, but we might be wrong. This is a really cute original idea that I have not seen in any subscription box. This looks to me like a dough because Snape. Yep, I like it. <laughs> it's not really potiony, but this is the Potion Masters box. So it all kind of links and it's a really nice figurine. <laughs> okay, and would you believe we still have items left in this box? And the next one is something from the Copper Kettle in and pub that is a really cute name i love that oh those are really cute these to me look like a little spoon set like a tiny little cutlery set from the copper kettle in and pub now these have got hogs heads on there which is a nice little nod to the hogs head these are really cute they look like they're meant to be potion spoons but you could totally use these as sugar spoons or something those are really cool i would love to read more about what these are meant to be but uh, other than spoons obviously but i want to know if there's a little blurb about them so we will get onto that shortly but overall super cute i love stuff like that but let's move on because we have got some paper items Okay, so the first item, we have actually got the instructions of the swelling serum, which I've only just seen, but this has all of the instructions. So prepare your workspace, make sure you have everything, put your water in until almost full, add the liquid, carefully pour five puffer fish eyes into the glass bottle, and then it continues on the back with the instructions using the metal stirring rod stir counterclock oh i didn't do my counterclockwise seven stirs but either way those are all of the instructions i'm loving these swollen toads i actually really like the illustrations on here too it does say caution potent induces swelling on contact so use with extreme caution oh love that it's definitely a little bit of fun that they have added into their subscription boxes. Let's move on because I can see some artwork. This is a potion classrooms piece of artwork. Now something fun that the Wizarding Trunk have been doing within their last few trunks is within their art pieces like this, they have been hiding a lot of the things that you receive in the trunk in the artwork. So you can see the little 
glowy Patrona Stag, we've got the Memory Vial, we've got the Swelling Potion Serum here, we've got the Scales here, we're going to come on to that next. We've also got one of the pin designs here too. Really fun, it's like kind of Where's Wally, but it, overall it's quite a nice piece of artwork. Let's move on to the other thing that I just spotted in that artwork actually, and this is our final thing in the box. This is an Apothecary chart and it's a quick reference to common components. We've got armadillo bile, we've got hellebore, puffer fish eyes, giant spider venom, pickled slugs. Then we have dragon scales, we've also got boom slang skin, belladonna, scarab beetle and moon water. What a beautiful, I actually really like this, this would look beautiful in a frame actually, a little nod of magic. They've even got it coloured on the back. That's really nice, I love that. Let's move on then and let's talk about all of the items that we got in today's box. But first things first, I'm gonna show you so that you can get an overview of everything. So here is everything out of this month's Wizarding Trunk, the Potion Masters box. This one has been a lot of fun. I will talk about my favourite items in just a moment, but first things first, let's take a look at the cheat sheet. So it says Master of Potions. This was the December 2023 box. Number one was the Potion Masters Silver Scales, which we have got right here. And it says this set of vintage silver scales are used by and sold exclusively to potion masters so you can only get one of these if you're a potion master number two was your brew it yourself potions kit it says welcome to potion class students all materials are provided in this potion kit to brew the swelling serum if another student happens to throw a firecracker into your potion whilst brewing you may need the recipe for the shriveling solution on page 47 be sure to keep your included metal stirring rod for any future brew it yourself potions okay so that is a hint that we are going to be getting more of these i do believe this is the second one to date it says all included ingredients are cosmetic grade and skin safe which is good to know number three we have the potion master's guidebook it says this book box is the perfect place to store all of your potion recipe pages from the potion master's guidebook or even some of your rarer potion making ingredients that your students may be trying to steal okay very nice I did like that then we had the potion masters notepad it says this is a double-sided notepad and it can be used to write down new potion recipes or revise some of the classics we then had the vial of the past and I've just realized what this is filled of a certain potion masters tears oh the feels it says these exclusive hand blown vials will take you back to some very insightful and unexpected memories obsessed number six potion masters brewing company t-shirt which i've got right here it says this magically soft shirt is given to those that visit the potion masters brewing company and then it says the apothecary chart this apothecary chart adorns the wall in potion masters studies then of course there's the dough this dough stands as a reminder to love always i can't believe you're doing this to me i don't need to be reminded of the pain number nine was fame glory or death pin oh okay so this pin sounds like it comes in three colorways and different themes and you would have got one so i got the fame one and it says you will have received one of the three pin variations that's really cool i would love to see the others how exciting and then number 10 we had the swelling serum recipe and it says this this page will give you detailed instructions for brewing your swelling serum right out of the Potion Master's guidebook. How fun. Number 11. Okay, so yes, these are copper kettle, sugar and teaspoons. These sugar and teaspoons will help you master your morning potions even if they're just tea and coffee. These are food safe zinc alloy spoons and are dishwasher safe but hand wash is recommended. Okay, I was gonna ask if these were food safe. Um, very good. 
they're not clumsy safe, clearly. Yes, I was going to ask if they were food safe or if you can dishwash them, but that is good to know. I'm glad that they've put that on the cheat sheet. Then there was number 12, which was the Potion Master Study Print, and it says, a look into the study of the Potion Master. How many items from this box can you find inside? Okay, so that is everything. The next bi-monthly theme is good versus evil. Okay, well let's talk about some of my favourite items from the Potion Masters box then, shall we? Obviously, my top favourite item comes out as the memory vial. It has to be. You guys know me by now. It was always going to be this. I also really liked the scales. I thought they were a lot of fun. Really enjoying the do-it-yourself potions at the moment. It has that interactive element, but I think this was probably one of my top faves too, which is the guidebook sneaky little secret box. I mean, it looks beautiful. Like the spine of that on a shelf, stunning. The fact that it's practical too, amazing. Okay, but now it's not just about what I think, it's also about what you think. What are your favourite items and least favourite items from this box? Leave a comment down below, I'll be sure to read some of those. And hey, if you did get this far in this video, firstly, thank you. Secondly, please do me a massive favour and just click the thumbs up button just to show that you have enjoyed it and it gives me indications of what content to keep creating. But yes, thanks so much and I cannot wait to see you very soon in another magical unboxing and or other video. But yeah, right. I'm ready to go make even more potions, especially now I've got this special little stirring rod. It's very satisfying. What a nice shape. Right, this memory vial is going in the collection. See you guys. I don't have the room, I have too many memories. <laughs>